Welcome. This is this is a video about flash photography. I don't know what to tell you. You got your new camera. You've been using your camera in manual mode. You've been walking around your house, taking pictures of your shit for the Instagram, for the Facebook, for the Flickr, whatever you do. And you are just yourself taking pictures of your friends and family and you're wondering, what the fuck? My photos don't look as good as people's photos online. And I'm gonna tell you what your problem is. You're not controlling the light, all right? It's the last frontier. Once you know how to control your camera, you can control the aperture, your shutter speed, you know which settings for which environment. Um, that's all well and good. What's gonna separate your photos from these photos that you see, you're like, wow, they have the wow factor. It's like, whoa, that's cool. That effect is cool. It's controlling every aspect and that includes light. Now I know some people are scared of flash photography and I was, for a long time, I was scared of flash. I didn't want to use it. I tried to do a whole different, I tried a whole bunch of different things to control the light in my environment, like uh, continuous lighting, uh, you know, going outside, all this stuff. And so I came to flash photography late. I was late to it because I was scared of it. And I hope this video, I wish I did it earlier. That's all I'm trying to say. With this video, I'm trying to say it's crazy easy and I'm gonna give you just the straight, how to just get started. And this is really cheap. This is probably about 30, 20 bucks, okay? It's full manual. I know what you're thinking, well that's scary. I don't wanna manually, but I'm telling you now, once you get the settings right in your camera, which is basically the settings are gonna be the same in camera every time you use your flash in the, say inside your house. The settings in your camera aren't gonna change. You're gonna use this, you're gonna use your flash to change the light, to control the light. And it's really, really simple. You just use these two buttons here, up and down power, to get the desired effect that you need. And I'm sorry if I've waffled on a little bit, but I, I really get excited about this. I wish I knew this stuff when I started. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the flash on top of your camera. You're gonna put this into your hot shoe. If you can't do that, then stop the video now because this, throw your camera in the bin. Sell your camera gear because if you can't put a flash on top of your camera, you shouldn't be anywhere near a fucking camera. You're gonna sh set your sh shutter speed to 160. 160, 200. You're gonna set your ISO to the lowest you can go. Not the lowest if it has extra low in some cameras. You don't wanna go the extra low. You wanna go, it's usually 100 or 200. You wanna set your ISO at 100 or the lowest it can go. Um, native, native ISO. And uh, what else do we need to set? White balance, you don't need to worry about white balance. You can change that in post or but if you, do, if you don't have, if you're using your photo straight out of camera, you might wanna change your white balance to flash. So in the little, in your white balance settings, it will have flash, so change that to flash. And uh, what else do we need to do? And so you got your aperture, uh, F16, you got your shutter speed, 160 to 200. Uh, you got your white balance set to flash or just leave it Whatever the auto white balance is going to be good enough and you can change it in post anyways And that's it. That's it for your settings. Now I'll write the settings right here That's it. Now you leave your camera alone. That's you're not going to touch your settings anymore. Okay So this here is a picture that I took of some flowers against the wall. It's a shitty photo but whatever, just to show you. Um, this is a photo that I took in, I can't remember the settings, but I just set the camera, this is just the ambient light, no flash. As you can see here, there's shadows, there's reflections of, you know, the blinds. Um, you know, I mean, I set the expo exposure myself, so it was a good exposure. I mean, you know, it's whatever, it's a picture, it's nothing special. Once you've set your camera, 
with your settings 160th of a second uh, f-stop 16 uh, you can set your white balance if you want to you're going to take a picture and this is what's going to happen with the flash off you're going to get complete darkness I don't think that's complete darkness because I think actually in this shot I only had my f-stop at uh, f8 so you just want to make it so when you're taking a picture it's completely dark so then you know that all the light that you're going to use is coming all you're in control of that light is all coming from your flash so you're going to take that picture so there's that picture and then all you're going to do is take a picture you're going to oh now here's the important thing I pointed this flash towards the roof okay so the roof you're going to you're going to bounce the flash off the roof. So you're going to point. So that's how you would you would imagine you would take. You would point the flash straight at what you. You're not going to do that. You're going to take the flash. You're going to point it at the roof. Okay, and it's going to bounce the light everywhere and give you a nice soft light. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to take your flash. You're going to point it up, and then you're going to put your flash on the lowest setting. You're going to take a photo. Boom, and. Uh, there you go, there's a picture of what it looks like on the lower setting. And then you're simply gonna go up in power, every shot, boom, 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 until, and people will tell you that there's, you, you should go off the exposure or the histogram on the back of your camera to get the correct exposure. But let's be honest, there is no correct exposure. It's just whatever you want your photo to look like. That's all. It's just um, the flash is going to give you the ability to control, to, to give you more control in a way simpler. Guys, this is simpler. Once you learn how to do this, this is less technical and way more simple than at setting your camera in full uh, manual mode without a flash. This is way simpler. You're just gonna use the power output of the flash. Okay, so yeah, as I said, you keep taking pictures, boom, 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 until you get the desired effect. Now here, you can see this photo, I've gone up in power, up in power, until I've got a nice exposure. And you can see here, this photo is a lot better than the previous photo. I'll put them side by side um, without the flash. So you can see here the shadows aren't, there's still some shadow here. Uh, there's still some reflections there, but it's a, must, it's a much nicer photo. It's got a much nicer light, a, a, a soft light. So that's the effect of the flash when you just bounce off the roof. Okay, and that's simple, that's it. That's it. That's how you're gonna get the extra little bit to give your photos the edge over all that, all the other photos that you see. Well, you see great photos on Instagram. This is how they're doing it. They're controlling everything, not just their camera, they're controlling the light. And this is key. For good photography and once you learn how to do this you're not going to go back trust me so this is i also took some pictures here of i flashed the flash straight on to the flowers and you're going to see so again i put the flash down to minimum power and i went up 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 and you can see this one here uh, it's kind of, kind of a nice effect, but it's not exposed properly. And then you can see up, up, up. But the problem is when you flash it straight on, you're gonna, it's gonna be a very harsh light. So what you're gonna need to do, if you're gonna use, and you can use your flash straight on, but here's what I would do. So uh, yeah, this one, that's straight on with the flash. And then, so what you're gonna do is, if you wanna do this, to get a much, to get a be better result, if you wanna use it on the camera straight on, 
You're just gonna get a white piece of paper. You might have to go up if, it, if you find it, it's exposing the way you like it at like half power, you might have to go up one more, one more power thing, like one more stop or whatever, a bit more power. And then you're gonna just get a white piece of paper, put it in front and boom, this is gonna soften the light. Now, I wouldn't put it right up because you're still gonna get the harsh lights just gonna go straight through. I'll, I'd put it away a little bit and then it's gonna fire, it's gonna turn this sheet of paper into a, like a soft box kind of effect, which is, you don't even need to know what a soft box is, just do it. Just put the fucking paper in front of your flash and try it, you're gonna, and you're gonna see what happens. So yeah, that's, that's how you use flash. It's as easy as that. If you don't know, if we're just gonna recap really, really quickly. So you're gonna put the flash on top of your camera, you're gonna put your shutter speed at 160 to 200. You're gonna put your f-stop to f-16, that kills all the light, and then you're just gonna take photos, and you're gonna go up, up, up. You're gonna change the power of your flash until you get the desired effect. And you're gonna bounce this off the roof. So you're gonna have it towards the roof. If you can't bounce off the roof, you're gonna diffuse it with a piece of paper or something that you can shoot through, like a white plastic bag or whatever you can find, whatever works. Now, second, what I wanna talk about is off camera flash with a radio receiver. Now, you might be thinking, wow, now you're talking crazy. Well, I'm not talking crazy. This isn't any more technical than, all you do is put this, all you do, instead of putting this on your camera, you put the radio receiver on your camera, and then you put, hang on, no, that's the transmitter. You put the transmitter on your camera instead of the flash, and then you put the receiver onto the bottom of your flash, right? It's as simple as that, you turn them back both on. These, these are really cheap, man. I think I paid 20 bucks for this. Actually, this is, like not even a cheap, cheap one, and this was like 80 bucks. It's, for the, for, for what I can do for your photography, it's definitely worth it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put, put the receiver on top of your camera, you're gonna put the, the transmitter on top of your camera, you're gonna put the receiver on the bottom of your flash like that. And then you're gonna just gonna do the same process. And here is some photos, so, Here's a photo that I took of the flowers, but you can see here, this is gonna be an example of how you can really get a cool effect with flash. That you just, you wouldn't be able to do this without flash. So here's a picture of the flowers, and this picture there, that's complete auto. That's the camera in complete auto. Not a very good photo. You can see the messy house behind. Um, you know, that's just not, even if the flowers do look pretty, it's just not a good photo. You put that on Instagram and people are just gonna be like, fucking who cares? You know, it's just the bullshit photo. And then, so the second photo, this one here, it's a little bit better because I put the camera in order. You can see the background. I, could, I chose my aperture, my own aperture here. Uh, I put aperture, what is it, 4.5. Listen, I'm using a kit lens here, so, um, but uh, the exposure time here was uh, a quarter of a second, uh, uh, one fourth of a second, just, I don't know the technical terms, okay? I don't know the technical terms, but I know that's relatively slow. And my ISO is 100, so I could choose my ISO. So this picture is gonna be, nice like technically it's not going to be noisy it's going to be nice and sharp and you know this picture with auto you see i'm at i'm at iso uh 6400 you know what i'm saying and the shutter speed so your camera obviously but you guys know this already you guys know that your camera is not going to choose the ideal uh settings for what you want it's only going to 
just average everything out just in case, you know? So, yes. So you can see my picture where I chose my own um, uh, settings is much better. So here, so we got the dark photo here. Like I said, I've gone for 160th of a second. I got my F stop uh, 16. Uh, ISO 100, obviously, and these things always stay the same. They always stay the same. This is what I want to stress to you: is this is more, more simple than you would think because you don't have to change the settings in your camera. The settings stay the same. It's just your flash. And then, so I got this here. Took my photo to make sure I killed all the ambient light, and then, a boom. That's me. I just got the flash. I held it over the top, I put my timer on my camera, and I just, the first picture I took, in the lowest setting on the flash, I just held it over the top of the flowers, boom, that's a bare flash, flashing down straight on top of the flowers, and look at that, like look at that effect. Now that photo, compared to my first photo, now look at the difference. Look at the difference. Now that photo here, that's Instagram worthy. You could put that on Instagram, and I think I might just put that on Instagram. That's a cool photo. Uh, you got the you got the background completely black. You got just the, the flowers peeking through. It's dark. It's moody. It's got some drama to it. It's a beautiful photo, and it was really, really simple, really, really easy. And what flash cost me twenty bucks. The radio receiver is going to cost you twenty bucks, forty bucks and you're getting Instagram worthy pictures instead of this crap you've been doing. <laughs> Your photos are crap. No, I don't know, maybe they're not. But um, yeah, so that's it. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you, I increase the power. I'm gonna show you what happens when you increase the power. So uh, there we go, I increased it one, notch up every time, one bit of power up every time. I don't know the technical terms, I'm gonna say power up, power up. One power up, two power up, three, four, and I took it to the max. And that's at the max, the power right up. Just holding the camera directly on top. And as you can see, it's starting to look, not, you can see the chair now, you can see, you know, the lights spilling everywhere. It just doesn't look good. So, yeah, we'll go back to that one. Well, I'm happy with that. And in post-processing, you can, you know, you can mess around with the blacks. You can bring the highlights down, bring the shadows up and down, whatever you want. Make it look even better. Um, yeah, that's flash photography. Mm -hmm.